in a quiet industrial park in Africa, something extraordinary might be happening. The story begins not in Silicon Valley, but in Harare, Zimbabwe, where inventor Maxwell Chikambuzo has allegedly created a device that could change how we think about energy forever. It's called the RF battery. Unlike anything seen before, this battery is set to recharge itself using radio frequency energy, meaning it could, in theory, run indefinitely without needing to be plugged in. No charging cables, no power stations, no emissions. And here's the most shocking part. Reports claim the RF battery comes with a lifetime warranty. Not 10 years, not 20, a lifetime. If true, this would represent a leap so big, it would make lithium ion look like Stone Age technology. For years, the world's biggest companies, Tesla, Samsung, Panasonic, have invested billions trying to push battery chemistry just a little further. But what if someone quietly solved the biggest limitation of all, the need for recharging? To understand why this claim is so disruptive, we need to look at what Maxwell Chikambuzo has been working on for over a decade. Maxwell is no stranger to controversy. He's known for developing self-powered inventions that seem to defy conventional physics, from electric cars that never plug in to drones that stay airborne without refueling. And while many have dismissed his claims, others believe he's tapped into a form of wireless energy transfer that mainstream science hasn't fully explored yet. The RF battery, according to sources close to his team, uses a mix of electromagnetic resonance and ambient energy capture. In simple terms, it harvests power from the air. That means every time it's running, it's constantly drawing in energy from surrounding radio frequencies, the same invisible waves that power your Wi-Fi, cell towers, and even radio stations. The concept isn't entirely science fiction. Nikola Tesla himself dreamed of this over a century ago, the idea that energy could be transmitted wirelessly across great distances. Well, turning that dream into a practical, scalable battery system has always been the missing piece. Maxwell's RF battery supposedly solves that. If the reports are accurate, it doesn't just receive energy from an external transmitter. It creates a self-sustaining loop that recharges from its own emissions. In other words, it's not just wireless charging. It's infinite charging. The device itself is said to be about the size of a briefcase, sleek and sealed with no moving parts. Inside, complex circuits and custom RF modules allegedly manage both storage and energy regeneration. No company outside Maxwell's circle has been given a teardown sample. Yet rumors say the system has powered small appliances, vehicles, and even a prototype home for months without ever being plugged in. When journalists attempted to visit his lab, most were denied access due to ongoing testing. But in 2D25, footage began to circulate online, showing what appears to be Maxwell standing beside a car with no visible power source, its dashboard fully lit engine humming quietly. He claimed it was running on his RF battery. At first, many thought it was another exaggerated prototype, but the details that followed made people rethink. According to insiders, the RF battery was tested under continuous operation for over two years without measurable degradation. In technical documents leaked online, the device was described as maintaining 100% cycle stability and 0% capacity loss, terms that would be unheard of in today's battery industry. And then came the line that sent the internet buzzing, lifetime warranty. In product terms, that's almost impossible. Batteries wear out. They degrade with each charge and discharge. But Maxwell's team claims that's precisely what makes this new system different. It doesn't operate like a chemical battery at all. Instead, it functions more like an energy converter, turning ambient energy into usable electric current indefinitely. If proven, this could eliminate battery waste entirely. No more e-waste landfills. No more lithium mining. No more chargers. Imagine every phone, car, drone, or even satellite running forever without ever running out. Energy independence at the personal level. A dream we've heard about but never seen in reality. And yet that's exactly what Maxwell's followers say he's done. Some call it the 10-year-ahead technology because experts estimate it would take at least another decade for major tech companies to reach this kind of performance. Others say even that's optimistic, that what Maxwell claims is at least 50 years beyond our current scientific understanding. But the evidence remains murky. There are no publicly available patents describing this exact device, no peer-reviewed studies, and no open demonstrations on the control conditions. Still, there's a growing belief that something real is happening behind the scenes. In 2024, a few African, 
universities reportedly collaborated with Maxwell's engineers on small-scale RF research projects. One professor who spoke anonymously described the results as beyond expected limits. He said devices powered by Maxwell's system maintained voltage without input for months, something conventional theory couldn't explain. But he also warned that the data couldn't yet be verified. So the question becomes, is this the next global energy revolution or another misunderstood vision? That's where the mystery begins to deepen. In late 2025, new whispers started circulating online. According to a leaked internal memo, a major U.S. tech corporation had entered private talks with Maxwell's company. The rumors suggested they were testing an RF battery integration kit for electric vehicles. The company wasn't named, but the documents referenced North American automotive applications, leading many to believe Tesla or Ford might be involved. Elon Musk was even asked about it in a brief interview. His answer was evasive. We're always exploring alternative energy systems, he said, but nothing confirmed at this time. Still, that was enough for speculation to explode. Online forums began dissecting every frame of Maxwell's demonstration videos. Some claimed to spot microantenna arrays in the background, possibly transmitting power. Others argued the system could be a clever combination of hidden batteries and inductive loops, creating the illusion of self-charging. But what about the lifetime warranty claim? That's where things get even stranger. In documents allegedly distributed to potential investors, Maxwell's team described the warranty as valid for the life of the product under normal operating conditions. Meaning, as long as the hardware remained intact, the battery wouldn't stop producing power. Skeptics found that wording too vague. What exactly defines normal conditions? Could it simply mean the device has a long lifespan, not infinite energy? Possibly. But some close observers say Maxwell's engineering language has always been precise. He avoids metaphors and speaks in electrical terms. When he says self-charging, he means literal autonomous regeneration, not long-lasting. That alone is enough to keep believers convinced he's telling the truth. However, others in the scientific community remain cautious. They point out that any system claiming to produce continuous energy without fuel violates basic thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. If Maxwell's RF battery truly runs forever without input, it would imply an entirely new source of physics, a misinterpretation of what's actually happening. Maybe the device isn't truly self-charging. Maybe it's simply harvesting energy from external RF sources, like a massive antenna system, hidden or proprietary. If that's the case, then the device wouldn't technically be free energy, just wirelessly supplied energy. Still revolutionary, but not magic. And that distinction matters, because if it's the latter, it means Maxwell has discovered a new way to wirelessly distribute power at scale, something even major research labs haven't perfected. But if it's truly the former, if it really does charge itself indefinitely, then we're looking at the biggest scientific revolution since electricity itself. The challenge is that Maxwell remains largely quiet about his inner workings. He rarely gives interviews. His lab remains off-limits, and his prototypes are always under test. It's the secrecy that fuels both fascination and skepticism. One day, he appears in public, confidently presenting his inventions, then months of silence follow. When questioned, his supporters say he's protecting intellectual property from theft. Critics say he's avoiding scrutiny. The truth could lie somewhere in between. What's undeniable is that his name continues to spread across online tech communities like wildfire. Videos analyzing his technology rack up millions of views. Bloggers dissect every photo of his devices. And investors quietly try to reach him, hoping to get in early on what could be a trillion dollar breakthrough. Some claim to have seen early prototypes of a home version RF battery, a box that could power an entire house forever. Others say government agencies have begun looking into the potential impact if such a technology were to go mainstream. Imagine what would happen to oil markets, the power grids, to entire nations depending on fuel exports. A self-charging battery would disrupt not just technology, but geopolitics. No one could control power anymore. It would belong to everyone. That's why some say we haven't seen it yet. Because if true, the stakes are too high. Companies and governments would have everything to lose. But then again, that could also just be part of the myth. A convenient story that fits into the mystery of Maxwell Chikambuzo. He's been called both a genius and a hoaxer. 
a visionary, and a myth maker. Depending on who you ask, he's either building the future or building illusions. Still, each time he reappears with something new, his claims seem just a little too advanced to ignore. So where does that leave us with the RF battery? Is it truly a 10-year-ahead technology that charges itself for life? Or is it a misunderstood experiment blown out of proportion by hopeful believers and viral headlines? The truth might be more complicated. Evidence suggests Maxwell's work in RF energy is real, measurable, demonstrable, and functional. But whether that energy can sustain itself infinitely is still unproven. Some experts propose that his systems might rely on external RF transmitters, perhaps hidden within his own infrastructure, creating a closed wireless network that appears self-powered. If that's true, then his breakthrough isn't in defying physics, but in achieving what Tesla once dreamed of, practical wireless power transfer, and that would still make it revolutionary. Yet others whisper that Maxwell's success goes far beyond that, that he's discovered a method to harness the natural electromagnetic resonance of the Earth itself, a theory that, if validated, could explain how his devices never seem to run out. But that's still deep in rumor territory. There's no hard proof. Only patterns, coincidences, and testimonies from people who've seen the impossible work, even if only for a few minutes. Until we see a verified demonstration under open conditions, the RF battery will remain one of the most intriguing mysteries in modern energy research. But what's undeniable is that Maxwell Chikambuzo has once again captured the world's attention. Whether he's a misunderstood inventor years ahead of his time, or a brilliant storyteller weaving the perfect scientific enigma, his name now stands beside the great dreamers of our age. And if, one day, a small box truly does power our world forever, without ever needing to be charged, maybe we'll finally realize that the impossible was here all along, waiting to be believed, waiting to be understood, waiting for the world to catch up. But maybe this story isn't finished yet, because every few months, something new seems to leak from Maxwell's circle. A schematic, a photo, a cryptic social post hinting at progress. Recently, an image surfaced online showing a group of engineers working inside what looked like a clean energy lab. At the center of the photo was a small metallic cube glowing faint blue. Many believed that Q was the next generation RF battery. Some observers noted the presence of what appeared to be cooling conduits, suggesting that the system is now designed for high-output industrial use. Others claimed it could be the same prototype rumored to be tested in electric buses somewhere in South Africa. If that's true, the implications are staggering, because powering a bus continuously without recharging isn't just an experiment, it's a revolution on wheels. Still, none of this has been publicly confirmed. No press release, no mainstream coverage, just whispers, videos, and a growing trail of unverified evidence that keeps people wondering if we're witnessing history unfold in silence. Some say Maxwell is preparing for a massive public reveal, a full demonstration that will finally silence critics once and for all. Others argue he's being pressured to stay quiet by powerful interests who understand the disruption this technology would cause. Both versions sound plausible. Both fit the strange, elusive pattern that defines every chapter of this story. But what if the truth is simpler? What if Maxwell isn't hiding anything, he's just perfecting it? Testing, refining, ensuring that when the world finally sees it, it won't just be a headline, it'll be undeniable. After all, a lifetime warranty cell charging RF battery isn't just another gadget. It's the end of dependency. It's the beginning of a world where every home, car, and city could run without fear of power loss. That kind of shift doesn't come overnight. It comes quietly in labs and minds that refuse to stop asking what if. So maybe that's where we are right now, somewhere between rumor and reality. A point in history where doubt and discovery coexist. And when the truth finally emerges, one thing will be certain. Whether Maxwell Chicken Buzo has proven right or wrong, the world will never look at energy the same way again. Because the idea itself, the dream of infinite power, has already escaped into the world. And ideas once released can never be contained.